Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is filming with my GoPro Hero 5 session, so I'll continue. Today I'm going to show you how to jack a bike up without a brace stand, as I've got one there. First, you got to jack it up by this area here. It's under the rear shock. That way it's the main support area. You just run a rag like that, put the jack under, then you run a block of wood underneath your stand. Then when you take it up easier. And another thing is chain maintenance I'll show you as well. The first thing is you do, you clean it with kerosene. Like that, just the cheap stuff. And then that's the chain lube I use, it's chain wax. Good stuff, have no issues. Which is like a plant. And as you do, what you do, put the carrier on the rag. And you put the rag on like that, while the back wheel's up in the air. Spin the wheel forward as it coats the chain with all the kerosene. It cleans it, obviously. Then, when you've done that, then you've got the issue with, I guess, sit there and scrub it with the old toothbrush. Get all the crap off the sprocket. And so forth, so forth. Wipe it all down. And as you wipe it down, make sure it's dry. Then as you... The best area to, to lube first is the rollers, as that's the most that's the most loaded up area of the chain, and that's where all the O-rings and pins and all that are. Then you you put a heavy coat in the middle, while it's as you spin the wheel. Do not start the bike up and have it running as you're lubing the chain, or you're going to lose a finger. The sides here do a light coat, as you can see. There's not much there, as I've already done the chain earlier and the first video failed miserably so doing it off the GoPro now and on the back there I ran a light coat as well as I did it I had a piece of cardboard here so that way I did not ever get the crap on the tires as you can see the tires are a bit bit feathered and worn from one track day and to do the other side of the chain the inside that area there just get the nozzle spray it directly down and so forth and as you spin it around and that's basically it and then you bring it down and yeah but before you do all of it make sure you wash the bike so that way you don't have to re-lube it after you've washed it because there's nothing worse than working on a dirty bike and yeah that's basically it and this is the beast uh subscribe like i hope you enjoyed if you got any comments or any ideas for new how-to videos, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you ASAP. Have a good one guys.